Okay, so this is the instructional video for how to assemble Nakatomi Plaza. It's an 18 inch tall uh, drop zone commander style building for use in 10 millimeters or 15 millimeter game systems. Get an idea of the scale. There's a drop zone troops and a slayer tank. It's quite tall, it's got a nice flat top so that you can get your bases on there during the combat. Uh, so uh, Mr Smudger will talk you through how to assemble it. Nakatoma Plaza comes with nine sprues or nine half the sheets of all the bits and pieces as you can see all tagged in. So what we'll need is some clamps or elastic bands, some PVA glue, a brush. For this kit we'll need some sandpaper, a good sharp knife and some super glue. Stage one, poke out the eight big pieces and you'll notice that four of them have etches, a lie next on the inside. So you have to get that piece and the corresponding piece and the this this is the only bit that is tricky but you have to glue these on and line them up as accurately as you can and that will just make sure that the, the, the rest of the process will go very smoothly. We, we've glued it on as I showed you, we stick it on, if you notice this bit is flush so I use that bit to flush it up, this is flush as well, so we use those bits there, and then you just go around and make sure you can see your etch line, and then put it to one side, put a book on it. I'd leave these a good half hour to an hour to dry. It's, it's you build the rest of the building around these, so we don't have any lugs. So we want this to be dry and and and, and sturdy for when we use it. Okay, so. Now we've got us four sides, let them dry, now, and, and now you poke out all the other pieces like so, that haven't got all the fancy details on. These are for the windows, they, they notch into there, these ones are the normal sides. So what happens is, is we get the piece, let's get, uh, let's get the bottom, we'll start at the bottom because that's easier. So you get, you get that there, get the piece with the door on, which is always the best place to start. And if you notice, I don't know if you can see from there, but this fits inside of there, like so. And you build it around. It's a little bit fiddly to get your first two on. So what I would suggest is glue, bit of super glue, line it up push it on, get another piece, stick it on the back like so and there you've got a square there and then you can hold that in place while it dries, it only take a couple of seconds so if you start with the door, flush it up to the bottom make sure it's square and take your time there's no point in spending good money on MDF scenery if you rush the build because it'll only look rubbish so you take your time, the more effort you put into the build, the better it will be. Okay, so we've got the first two bits on as you can see. And then what we do is we come round, we've got a piece and I hope you can still see. This piece comes into here like this. Now because there's an angle there, and it's not a 90 degree angle, I find the best way to do it, and again it's all about wanting it to look good, is once you've lined it up, dry fit it up, get your other piece, make sure you've got the correct piece and this one inside edge there whoops, and this one inside edge so when they meet like that you can either scrape it with a knife or as I do excuse me, a little bit of sandpaper like so get it, put it on the back like that that's it, that's all it takes. 
and what all that will do is that will enable it to come up with a really flush fit and it'll look lovely all the way around okay so top tip once you've sanded the edges back hope you can see that it just takes a little tickle no time at all push them up dry fit them to make sure they, they fit smugly snugly smugly snugly now a little tip if you want is get a little bit of PVA stick it in the back like so so then when you come to glue these together and you push it up that PVA will seal any tiny gap that there might be so when you give it a coat of paint it'll all be smooth and no gaps top tip for you so as you can see got it on I, I use one another piece these are all 90 degrees just make sure I've got it in and it's 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 square lovely now you can see look the glue it just oozed through but that's brilliant just let's give it a quick wipe you know and then when that dries now that'll dry smooth and you there'll be very to no very little to no gap at all so we put the face on and then the base the front face of the door and then the base use your other bits and pieces to square everything up and these edges if you notice here because these aren't 90 degree angles all these edges you have to sand the back edge away so I'll show you uh, let's show you on this one here so as long as you don't touch can you see so as long as you don't touch that front edge there sand that back edge away it doesn't matter whether you do it shallow or, or, or steep it's dead easy you just put it on a piece of uh, sandpaper back and forth making sure you don't take that front edge away and the thinner you can get that the better that the actual fit will be and the more professional the kit will look so we've gone round now so we can't rather than go further up here which is an extra uh, assembly piece that goes in what we want to do now is come back to this side and make his way up so this piece here if you look on the pictures there's a window or a window section so what we do is I personally build this as a sub assembly and that way I know everything fits together nice and tight and if you wanted to paint it at this point you can paint it before you put it in it's entirely up to you so these slot into here dry fit everything as always offer it up remember these funny angles always grind the back sandpaper the back edge away it'll make for a much nicer fit make sure it fits and you're good to go this is the this is the difficult area now because now we've got to allow for the fact that that next piece comes on so you need to just dry fit it up make sure it looks right and away we go so once it's in and it's dry we take the blank middle piece which is to stop you from seeing straight through the windows no one likes that make sure you put plenty of glue on it pop it in make sure it's the right way around I did dry fit it first and that will help seal it all together and make it rigid okay so now we've got to this stage to help line these edges up and make it a bit stronger you just pop the middles that come out of the windows the window frames the outer frames doesn't matter which ones you get super glue them put them on stick them down they're inside no one will see them and it just it'll help with the 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 assembly of the rest of it so as you can see just a close up you can see how we've taken the two back edges away we put the PVA in give it a squeeze then use another piece to make sure it's at 90 and then just gently squeeze them up and let them dry and your glue will come through take off the excess before it dries and lovely jubbly so as we move up 
we come to, as you can see on the picture, another window. Too many windows on this kit. So again, we'll, we'll get the pieces, we'll dry fit them together, and obviously it should be flush at the back. So now we know we've got the right windows for the right hole and the right backing piece for the right windows. So I've made the next window as a sub-assembly as I've done before. That way I know it's all together. I've already checked that this bit fits and I've sanded the back edge away so I know I'm going to get a good fit there. These ones here aren't that important. But this one here has a piece you might think oh no he's forgot to put a bit in this piece here look slides down like that so you can go ahead and fit this now knowing that it'll be all right because this pit slides in to meet it okay so now we've got that sub assembly in the window assembly now the next one is we come to a 90 degree angle thank god i hear you say no more sanding so Bear in mind that this is the front face, and you'll see this, and this piece here goes in there. And I've al we've allowed the room for it to be, you can adjust it, you know, in case anything goes wrong. So what you do is you get another piece, put it along there like that, glue this, glue these, put it in and push it up like that. There'll be no gap at the back. But you know then that you've got this perfectly flush so when you put your main your, your front face on like that it'll be lovely so before we've, we've got to this stage now before we carry on just quickly get your other side the two sides that you've not used yet and just offer them in make sure you're going okay and nothing's out of skew it shouldn't be because we've been using or makeshift 90s to make sure everything squares were going along and that way when you come to put your other sides on apart from a little bit of press downward pressure to help the, the glue bond it should be perfect time for a smudger's top tip <laughs> okay the dust you create from sanding the edges down there you go you see the dust you create from sanding the edges down don't blow it away don't throw it away put it in a little pot and when you finish the whole thing if there's a if you've messed up on a bit of your sanding or you broke a piece with the knife or you've been a bit heavy-handed don't worry all you need to do then is get a bit of super glue or a bit of pva put it into the damaged piece rub the dust in after about 10 minutes it should if it's some uh super glue it'll set like concrete give it a little tickle with the sandpaper and once you've painted it no 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 so when you come to do the the assemblies it's the 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 shiny side out and there's if it doesn't slot in perfectly then it's the wrong way around so you just pop it in slot it in like that glue it Glue these on and then we're ready to put it in there. So when you're putting these, just another little tip, when you're putting these window subsections together, as you know we've been having to having to uh, sand the back edge away for these angles here. We're on this, this one here, we just take a little tickle off the front edge. And it fits in and if you look see, you end up with a really really nice tight fit you can see that look. a really nice tight fit okay so when we've completed it as so all we've got to do is this stage now I pre did what I done did on the other one put some little supports in there make sure it's nice and flush so before it if you've used PVA which is the best way to do it before it dries solid, you've still got a little bit of movement in your joints, you can fit this in. If you haven't, and you've used super glue like I have, well, I hope you've done it right.
which oh look we have perfect <laughs> now we've dry fitted it and we know it's right take it off run some super glue all the way around it or PVA or PVA or PVA if you want it if you want the best of both worlds PVA with some dabs of super glue on works brilliantly You don't have to film this bit now, it's going to get boring when you just watch glue. I want to see you glue your hands to it like you just have. Oh. Sure. People want to see that. There you go, you see? Um. Okay, so we're at almost at the final stage. All we do now is take our, our windows line them up make sure we've got them the right way around and take these edges back the back edges take them back so it sits nice and flush when you've put all the front window pieces on it's time to put the cladding on which hides the joints that one goes on the front like that that one goes on that edge that one goes on that edge glue those down and then Rinse and repeat for all the other windows. Okay, so now it's time to do the box insert, which slides in here. So you, you've got top and bottom base, and then the sides. So you set them out, and then glue them around the base, and it'll keep them square. So once we've got to that stage, you then stick the outer details on, which hide the lugs. And then we slide it into there. So put plenty of glue on the insides and then slide it in, line it up so it's central, let it dry and it's done. Okay so it's time for the final details. Some can only go in one place and others can go wherever you want. So for instance this one has to go on sorry this one goes on the back this one goes on the top and these there's three different sizes of these so you stick those on like so which you can see in the picture and if you use a piece any old piece put it in and then use that to slide the next one up to because this should be two mil gap and that way they'll be perfect these edges here will line up and then all the others apart from these bits here which you see have got the straight there these go here one on either side like so and it hides that joint and the rest you can put randomly wherever you want.